Jennifer, they're all yours. Come on in, Danny. Just take take a seat with two. He looks like a blonde ferret. Stringy unwashed hair and huge eyes, jeans that are barely recognizable, stained white t-shirt, huge red overshirt, ratty old sweater. The sneakers, one Converse and one Nike, are both untied and the layers are all partially unbuttoned, even though it's got to be 100 degrees in the subway. This guy is so filthy I can hardly look at him. I mean, he's caked. It's like an old war victim from some black and white film. All right, what would a passage like this? Add and enhance a novel. How would it do that? It's very descriptive. It is very descriptive. What is it talking about? Somebody that the narrator sees? That's right. He's talking about a character. Our lesson today is going to be about character development. This is a creative writing class, and we are going to eventually write you a story. So we are talking about how to develop a character. Objective. After reading and hearing the lesson about character development, the students will be able to effectively use physical description, action, or reaction to reveal key information about a character with 100% accuracy. Um, Dewey Hensley, who has been teaching creative writing for many years, has talked about six ways to reveal a character. And today we're going to talk about three of them. One is physical description, action, and reaction. A couple things about all these. Um, it must give the audience valuable information about the character. I put an example of a bad description up here. The man was wearing blue jeans, a t-shirt, and a brown shoes. We have no idea who this man is. We have no clues as to what his personality is. It doesn't progress our plot at all. A good description might be the businessman with his Armani suit, silk black tie, and polished shoes walked into the conference room and carefully placed his leather briefcase on the table. What would an example like this, how, how would it, what would it tell us? What would we know about the character by a description like this? It has money. That's right, it has money. He put it down quietly uh, and carefully, so maybe he's like a bit nervous about not standing out. Maybe. It was a bit of a setting as long, along with it. It does. It's obviously in a building somewhere. Uh-huh. Definitely. So it develops our character and gives us a sense of the setting and our surroundings in the story. Physical description. As you said, it's definitely very descriptive. And that's what the first paragraph passage that we were talking about um, is about. What would you say a passage like this, how would we... What does it tell us about the character? He doesn't have a lot of money. That's right. He <laughs> doesn't have a lot of money. <laughs> exactly. That he's... Sam Subway? Yeah. Uh-huh. It suggests that he's sort of dying out like he's like a loser. Yeah. It definitely gives 
us a better picture of Parks' personality and her character. Reactions. Okay. How someone reacts to certain events really can reveal their character. For instance, if I am a student and I get back a test, and I, it's not a good grade, and I just throw it in the trash can and leave the room. I mean, the impression that I give people is that I don't care about school, I don't care about my grade, if I am a student that I get a bad grade on the test, and I get upset about it, and I talk to the teacher about how I can fix that, it gives an impression that I care about my grades, right? So how we react to things definitely tells something about us. Can someone read that one? Tony's words stunned Laura. It wasn't what she expected to hear. They had been dating for over a month now. How could he do this to her? How could he break her heart? All three of their dates had been fun. He had said so himself. As Tony watched the floodgates, the floodgate of her eyes began to open and he looked at his watch. Geez, I hope I can make it to the gym on time. So how does Tony's reaction to Laura, what does that tell us about Tony? Yeah. 